All right, hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Today I want to bring you a special demonstration on the larynx model. All right, first up, let's talk about where this larynx is at in the body. I've got the sagittal head model over here. Essentially, if we're looking at the tongue, the oral cavity, nasal cavity, work our way down. And after it's oral pharynx, laryngeal pharynx, right about here, down to here, is what we call the larynx of the throat, right? Larynx of the throat. You've got esophagus back here, most posterior, but we're gonna go from here down to here. That's the larynx. So I'll jump back over to here, and what you can see first off is the hyoid bone. This hyoid bone right here is a bone that does not articulate with any other bones. It is free standing, lots of soft tissue attachments, but this bone right here does not articulate with any other bones. And some deeper level details for you is that these are the lesser horns of the hyoid, lesser horn, horns. And then back here, we've got the greater horns, greater horns coming back here of the hyoid bone. So let's start from an anterior view. And from here, we can see a gap of space, which actually would be filled with a membrane. And here it is, this is the thyrohyoid membrane. I just put a bunch of tape on here so you guys can see where that membrane would be. And down here, it gets into more the cartilage. So notice difference between bone, membrane, and now we've got harder cartilage. This whole cartilage here, let's give you a 360 of it. That's the thyroid cartilage, thyroid cartilage with what's called the laryngeal prominence, laryngeal prominence, AKA the Adam's apple. Go ahead and palpate that on your own throat to see if you could feel that. And after you've done that, let's go down and let's talk about another membrane here. Down in here, we're looking at the cricothyroid membrane because this cartilage is the cricoid cartilage. That's the next one to mention here, cricoid cartilage. So the membrane in between it is a cricothyroid membrane. And after that, it is no longer the larynx and now it becomes the trachea. So trachea, where air is gonna go through, is down here and it's got what are called the tracheal rings. Tracheal rings or cartilage, the harder part, with the tracheal membrane, the darker gray in between. So I'll zoom in on that so you can see the tracheal cartilages or rings versus the tracheal membrane. All right, let's come on up in here and let's actually get a superior view. From a superior view, we can see the epiglottis so this large flap structure is the epiglottis right here as it would cover the trachea with swallowing and then open on up to allow air to flow down in. So this is the deeper structures of the trachea. All right, if we look beyond the epiglottis and we look down to the level of the vocal folds and the false folds. We can see some things back here, which would move. They're attached to the vocal folds, but they're two different types of cartilage. And here they are, you see them divided by the blue line. This part here, the big part where the probe is, is the arytenoid cartilage, arytenoid. And then the tip is the corniculate tip is the corniculate. So I always remember corn, like candy corn, has a tip to it for corniculate. 